what's up fam i don't know where to go with this video i'm about to put up it is not my typical video but it is a needed video this is a warning to people who are this is a warning for truck drivers this is a warning for black truck drivers especially this is a warning for anyone of melanin complexion that are going to these areas in small towns across the U.S., but especially this particular area that I'm about to tell you about. And this is a definite warning for myself, which I already knew. Keep your head on a swivel because you are in territory unlike you probably ever been so that being said this video is not to offend anyone else and if you are offended by this video it may be because you know somebody that is capable of doing what i'm about to tell you and for those who also say i don't see color if you don't see color then you don't see me you don't see others. So stop saying that. That's the wrong way to say it. I see color and I appreciate color is how you should say it if you're going to say it at all. But that being said, there is a young man, 21 years old, same age as my son, who just turned 22. And I definitely sent him a link to this video so i want to say i'm using some footage from tough news so shout out to you tough news for keeping your foot on people's neck and i definitely sent this to my son even though we've had you know we have conversations in the black household of things that you should not do or be careful of if you do do those things so there <sighs> I'm totally lost for words on this video because it's painful. It's triggering. So trigger warning. Okay, there is a 21-year-old young man. Just finished his CDL schooling. Got his license. He's now CDL qualified. Took a load to Henderson, North Carolina. Little did he know that that will be his last load, his last place that he would drive to. Because he was found swinging. And you know what he was found swinging from. So he was found swinging and they're trying to say that he did it to himself. There is a cover up, you guys that's happening in Henderson, North Carolina. And it needs to be investigated from outside people, not inside people, okay? No way this young man went into Walmart, which is what they're saying, purchased the rope and went to the woods behind the truck stop and did that to himself with so much to offer and looking so forward to his life as a truck driver. There's no way that he did that. No way. I don't know if any, any person black that would do that considering our history in the United States. That's not the only thing. So the mother wanted to see her, her child. They're refusing to allow her to see her child because of these reasons. First, they told her, well, she asked for pictures since they said she couldn't see him. Well, why she couldn't see him? They, they first said COVID. Then they said, well, no parent, no mother would want to see their kid like that. You know, so we're trying to spare you and save you some pain from whatever, seeing your child. Well, if he just went to the back of the woods, my opinion, if he just went to the back of the woods himself and did that to himself, then why can't I see him? Why can't I see him? What is the cover up? There's no reason why this mother or the family 
should not be allowed to see their loved one and the condition that they are in. Is the condition a timid ill condition where he's so badly beaten and bruised that you're trying to spare her from that? But yet he went to the back of the woods behind the truck stop because he probably thought it was safe to stop at that Walmart. It probably was the only Walmart around. Well, let me stop here and just spend the night here because I have this load here, not at the Walmart, but in that area that's what truckers do and sometimes walmart will let truckers stay you know there some walmarts don't and i'm so heated about this because one i'm a mother of four and have a bunch of grandkids that have to grow up in 2024 hearing and seeing stuff like this that is still happening i'm also the wife of a trucker who is out there and even though he's a grown behind man I'm still saying to him, please be careful. Especially when he's in certain areas, which he already know that. But please be careful. I'm constantly praying over him. I'm constantly praying over my children. And anybody who's out here just trying to live a normal life, earn money, take care of their families, etc. And now can't even make it back home because of someone's hatred or stupidity it makes no sense to me make it make sense please it makes absolutely no sense that he would at 21 walk in get that and come out and do that to himself but they can't see him because he's in such a condition did he beat himself up also is he so unrecognizable he did all of that to himself I really do hope that the news will come in and put so much light on this. That's what I'm talking about. They don't cover what they need to cover. Cover this. Let this family get some justice. There should be no bruises on his face. He shouldn't be beaten. You said it's no foul play. He did it to himself. So why can't I see pictures of my child? Why are y'all keeping him from me? Then they said that the father would have to consent to her um, seeing the child. And she said, okay, he, he, he consents. He consents. Y'all, it's a cover-up. And it's sad that in 2024, this is happening and that we have to push this stuff out. So share this video. We have to push this stuff out. And I'm going to leave a link that I got from Tough News where you can contact the police department you could do whatever but this needs to be known this needs to be said something is wrong with people when they feel like they can take a life and cover it up because it means nothing that no one would care people care okay people do care and they need to do the right thing they need to do right by that family Here's a clip of Javion's cousin, and then I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I would have never thought I had to make this kind of post on my TikTok, but my family desperately needs your help. Um, this is my little cousin, Javion McGee. He's from Chicago, Illinois. He was 21 years old and would have been 22 in a few weeks. Um, he was found from a tree in Henderson, North Carolina yesterday. Um, he drove trucks, so that was his reason for even being out there. The police officers are trying to say that he went to Walmart and purchased the rope and hung himself. We obviously don't believe that, and we are just asking for your help to push his story out there. There's no, there's, this isn't covered on any local platforms. No news stations, radio, none of that. So we're trying to push it out there. We really need your help. The um, police officers in the corner of corner's office are giving us a hard time, um, not allowing his mom to identify the body. Um, at one point, they told her um, she can't identify the body due to COVID. And then the next day, today, they told her um, the father has her permission for that, which he said that he would. She asked if they could send her pictures, at least. They told her yes, and then turned around and told her, oh, I don't think that you want to see your son like that come on like this is just 
just this is just very devastating for my family and we really 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 need to push this story out there so if y'all could please repost this video keep saying his name jb mcgee um hashtag justice for jb and we are gonna fight for him and we are standing behind my cousin 100 percent and they're not getting away with this so please share this video thank you so a lot of people have been sharing her video out and a lot of people have been contacting the henderson north carolina police department and so many people have been contacting them that they released on their twitter that basically they're distancing themselves from this is not what they're saying but this is what they're doing they're distancing themselves from the situation by saying that hey we don't cover that area Yes, it's Henderson, North Carolina, but we don't cover that area because it's outside in the county area. We're covering the city area. So who's covering the county area is the Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's Department of Vance County. Well, according to Tough News, the Sheriff's Department doesn't have a Twitter or any kind of social media like that. So that is why... Um, Henderson County Police Department information will be down in the description of my video and other people's videos because you're in close proximity. You guys talk to each other and maybe you can let them know that they need to do right by this family. And I think that the FBI or somebody needs to come in because this is a hate crime. This is my opinion only. I'm um, you know I, I, I need to say allegedly in here but this has happened allegedly this young 21 year old I'm about to say boy young 21 year old man Javion McGee truck driver for only a little bit picked up a load in Henderson North Carolina at a Walmart and decides hey i'm done with this i'm gonna go on walmart and i'm gonna grab me a rope and i'm gonna tie it to the nearest you know what and i'm gonna dangle my legs no and i hate to say it like that but this is <laughs> this is crazy y'all that this is happening right now let me know what you think in the comments definitely share the video out and if you you know are new to my channel and y'all please be kind in the comments because i don't want to have to block nobody and i don't want to have to pin any hate comments in my comments so people can see you for who you are but definitely leave your comments and your thoughts do you think that he took his own life or do you think his life was taken from him i'll see you in the next video there can't be no light if darkness don't exist he never left my sight he showed me the way out of all the storms raging at the sea he gave me back my life i owe him everything Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in the name of the Lord forever and always. I rejoice, rejoice.